Welcome Virgo to my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and get your April 2021 message. Uh, this is a general reading, so it's for the collective of the sign of Virgo. It could be sun, moon, rising, um, possibly even Venus too as well. Um, just realize that, you know, since it, is, since it is a general reading for the collective of Virgo, uh, like I've said many times before, there is millions of Virgos out there, so it's not going to resonate with every single one. There might be bits and pieces, there might be none, there might be the whole thing. Um, so take what resonates and let go what doesn't. Um, you know, there's always next time or other readers for the month of April if you're looking for certain things or guidance or whatever. Um, with that being said, I've already shuffled and used some incense on the cards. Um, and I'm going to pick three cards from each Oracle deck and each three cards from each tarot deck and then a uh, ending message with the soul, soul seeds star seeds um, Cards so I do that just because I save time because I kind of stumble through shuffling with these two broken bones in my hand It's a little awkward and you know, I don't want to waste your time or mine um, With me stumbling through shuffling each deck. So we're gonna go ahead and get the message um like I said, take what resonates. So let's go ahead and start off and see what's coming through for the collective I'm picking up on, on the sign of Virgo. So we have community. So community is like um, connecting with kindred spirits, association with uh, you know, maybe groups or certain people. Um, it could be telling you it's now time to go out and connect with, uh, uh, make some new connections. Um, this card also can be actually letting go of things like your uh, emotional patterns, false beliefs, uh, old habits, stuff like that. But I'm really getting that, you know, maybe it's now the time to go join a group. Um, something like that. Meet up with some new people. Let's see what else is coming through. So we have walking away. So there's something you're needing to let go of and move on. Um, something may no longer be um, at your best interest or serving you. And then we have... Door to value, yeah, so this could be uh, about new beginnings. It could also be about um, some kind of financial beginning, like maybe uh, starting a new job, uh, a new business, something like that. Um, also, I'm getting like this knowing that, you know, what your value is as well. So, because because you did get that walking away in community. It looks like, you know, you need to maybe uh, know your value. Maybe something's not serving you anymore or someone's, Maybe not have your best interest at, at heart and it's time to walk away from that and go into a new group or community or something like that. Let's get some more cards. We'll get some tarot. So yeah, Queen of Wands. This is like being confident, knowing what you want, going after what you want. So with this community, yeah, it looks like, you know, you. it's time, like you, maybe you don't resonate somewhere anymore. It's not serving you anymore. It doesn't have your best interest at, anymore. And you, you know, you know that and you're confident and moving towards something new. Then we have the two of pentacles. Yeah, see, this is uh, this is on the walking way. So you might be like still juggling some things. Maybe you're not quite ready or sure yet to walk away. So you're juggling like in between both, you know, kind of thing. So, but it's, it's, after a while that gets like burdensome and you need to let something go. So, and you know, it's really hard to keep up juggling for too long, right? And then we have judgment. Yeah, so judgment is, it can be a life-changing decision. And you have this door to value so something that's not valuing you know, i get like it's time to realize that and uh you know realize what you really want and move forward letting something go all right let's get the next step so we have balance yeah it's time to balance out that give and take energy and, and um and i'm i'm feeling that it's like personal relationships you know Maybe you're always the one that gives, 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 and somebody always takes, 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 and it's just draining you, um, keeping you juggling that energy back and forth. So you realize like in your best interest and what you want is not that, and you're moving forward. And then we have death. Yeah, see, death is not physical death. This is about like um, letting go of something, you know, so a new cycle can begin. And loss, yeah. Sometimes it's best just to chalk up our losses and see them as the lessons they were, you know? I don't know if you guys know that um, poem about a reason, a season, and a lifetime. You know, it says that some people come into our life for a reason. Other people come to us for a season. They don't stay for long, but they teach us something of value. And then some people last a lifetime. So, you know, sometimes we have a lot of loss in life. And it's not just like um, death loss. It's like people come and go you know 
All right, let's get some tarot on these. So we have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is about planning for our future. So yeah, it looks like maybe you, you've kind of checked out of something. You know, you're still kind of juggling things, but you know, mentally and emotionally, you might have already checked out and you're already planning ahead, you know? Yeah, Five of Cups, this is like disappointment. You've, you, you know, you're disappointed by something. Something's not no longer serving you. You're kind of regretting it. And, you know, it's kind of like you're feeling like maybe it's a failure. But, you know, it's a lesson. You know, even even things that can be negative or end or something, it's a lesson, right? So, in the world, yep, cycle completion. <laughs> so, yeah, with this loss, it's it's like kind of done, you know. You, you've already kind of checked out, so. All right. Let's see what else. Abundance, yeah. See, you want to go towards what's going to serve you, your happiness, your abundance. Um, I am a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Yes, you can. So you're looking for something more meaningful, I think, that's going to serve you at this time. Then we have self-esteem, yeah. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So if you're juggling because you still have a little issue with self-esteem, you know, it's time to get that together, know your worth, and know you deserve more and more of this abundance. It could be you've already realized this, and you know maybe somebody's just taken all the time and you have you stepped into your self-esteem you know your worth and you're like yeah um this is just disappointing me now um i'm letting it go and peace yeah because it just it's it's not bringing you any inner peace anymore i am being of love and i release all negative energy so yeah you you want to be at peace you're kind of done with this so you know it's not making you happy it's keeping you um juggling and not at peace so let's get some tarot four of swords so the four of swords is you know you're contemplating things you're taking some time to rest and re and contemplate before you go through that gateway there where was that gate let's see no yeah you're resting so you can go through this gate you know you're getting you're figuring things out um just you know reviewing things contemplating before you walk away or after you walk away, you could be doing it before you go out and to the community. <laughs> yeah, justice. Yeah, so justice, this is all, you know, about what's fair. It's karma, you know, stuff like that. So you're realizing that the wheel's always turning, you know. You've learned the lessons. You want to do something that's fair and, and in your integrity. And then we have the high refrain reversed. So this is could... could could be like uh, you realizing that you're your own teacher. Um, uh, besides other people teaching you things, you're learning that you know you're also your own best teacher. Um, that wisdom comes from within. You know you know you don't know need um, external validation anymore. You already know your worth. You got yourself steamed together. Um, it could be just like not going along with popular opinion. So that's that set of messages. We got one more set here. And we have joy, yeah. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all you do. Yeah, you want to go out and ha be, um, have fun and, and be a joy, not like this juggling and not being peaceful inside. You're ready to move forward toward your joy. Then we have creativity, yeah. So you love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. So I think, too, with that, um, where's that one? Community. You know, maybe uh, you're joining a group that you like, like painting class or yoga or something like that. You're stepping into your creativity while you just uh, contemplate things and start this new life. You've let some things go. You're just kind of like in that in-between state or about to be. So one more card on that. Past, yeah. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations of energy in order to transform your heart space. Yeah. Yeah, you're letting that be part of your past now. You know, you're realizing that you've learned all you can. It's served its purpose. You're not resonating anymore. Um, it's time to start start this new cycle. Get some tarot. So, yeah, we have the King of Wands. Yeah, the King of Wands knows what he wants. He's confident. He's a leader. So you're leading your life. You're being confident and confidently moving forward. And then we have the higher fin. Ah, yay! It's not re uh, reversed anymore. So this is your spiritual wi wisdom, your tradition. So you know, 
Yeah, that's great. See, you're, you're figuring it out. With that contemplation, you're going to turn that higher uh, upright. Sound good. Good for you, Virgo. And then we have the five of disc. So, you know, this is like that isolation, um, worry, maybe a little lack mentality. So, you know, once you leave, it might be a little feeling of isolation and maybe you're lacking because you don't have people to hang out with anymore. But deep down, you already know that it's just not not working for you anymore. And, you know, you're going to have to go through that. That's a good time to, you know, maybe take up that creativity um, class or something like that. And that might be where you meet your new new tribe, you know, the people that you resonate with. So let's go ahead and get the last couple messages here from Spirit. So we have stillness. Reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. Yeah, it's time to, while you're like contemplating, you know, sit in that stillness, realize the lessons you've learned, um, how much you've grown, this inner strength you have, what you want. Gratitude, yes, and be very grateful. Universal love shines through the miracles of life all around you. Yeah, be grateful for everything, like the good, um, the negative situations we are in, everyone we meet, there's there's a reason for everything we do. We learn lessons, we gain strength. Even if we learn not what not what not we want or to do. So and then transcendence, yep, yeah, just transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. You're transcending. Yep, yeah, you're moving up. So that's a beautiful message, um, Virgo. It looks like you're going through some transcendence. Um Letting go of things, meeting a new soul tribe, being creative, contemplating. So that's your message, Virgo. Thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful April. Take care. Bye.